Welcome to FeedBlitz version 4. This video takes you through the process of reviewing the settings FeedBlitz created for your feed as part of adding your site to the system. All of the information for your mailings and your social media output comes from the feed, and so that's where we're going to begin. Here we are at the site dashboard. All of the elements that need reviewing are identified by these finish setup buttons you see here. I'm going to click on the feed button because that's where we're going to begin. Here Feeblitz reminds us what's about to happen. The most important thing to realize is that there is real support, ready, willing and able to help you should you get stuck. So if you do, don't hesitate, contact us. The information for support is at the top of the screen highlighted here. There are three screens to step through in terms of reviewing the feed configuration that Feeblitz set up for you. These include what the feed is called, its path, and where we're pulling the raw information from. Typically speaking, there's not much to change here first off, and so we're going to skip on to the next screen. There's a lot of complexity here that you can come back to if you want to edit it later. For now, we'll press on. Now, Feeblitz has already set up your feed with recent posts, related articles, and comments embedded in the posts themselves. Here we can add social media sharing icons for your subscribers so they can share any one post with their social networks and on their favorite bookmarking sites. Save the changes, in this case adding a Facebook like button, and pressing on to our final screen. One of the really great things about Feedlets' RSS functionality is that you can add other feeds to yours to build an aggregate. You can add multiple feeds from any arbitrary RSS source or from any of these popular social media and video sharing sites. All you have to do is enter your account name here, like for this YouTube account. Now, I actually don't want to add YouTube to my feed, so I'm going to take that out and skip any changes here. We'll press on to the final summary page. And so here's the summary, we're finished. There's a feed address, a mobile-friendly version, and a way to subscribe to this feed directly by email. We've got Chiclet counters, both styled and unstyled, and here's the code to add to your website to enable visitors to subscribe to your RSS automatically. There's even a small widget you can add to your sidebar, which will automatically populate with the latest news from your blog. So this is the main RSS feed management page. All of the pages we just visited can be accessed directly using these buttons. You can access this page anytime by clicking the feed icon in the left-hand navigation or from the site dashboard you see here. Now that feed setup is completed, the Finish Setup button has disappeared from our audience dashboard. We've got the call right, now it's time to press on and finish setting up our mailing list in the next video.